It's me, Dr. Lee. Um, today, I'm going to talk to you about dreams and visions in Christ. And this is part five. I'm so proud of myself because my goal is to get all these dreams and visions out in the month of June. This is June 2018. Um, this is my birth month. Uh, we have this thing, this hus my husband and I, that we sh uh, celebrate my birth month. Instead of celebrating one day, we celebrate the whole month. And um, he typically gets me, you know, like, what, 30 days in June, I believe. He gets me, um, like, 30 gifts, and we, you know, go and do something every day. Um, uh, you know, maybe, you know, just, just what, whatever, you know, that whatever, just to just celebrate my birth month. And we've been doing that ever since I got, um, we got married and he said, we got to keep it up. So, um, he's I like my little stuff. Um, he's a good shopper too. He got this for my, um, birthday. He had my daughters to give it, um, to me, but you know, I like color and just different looking things. So, that's what I'm rocking now. Um, like I said, in this whole um, YouTube dreams and visions in Christ was like it may not make sense to some people, but like a, a gift to myself to to do this, to even to be able to do it because I'm sitting up like you know in the wee hours in the morning and um, getting little sleep to to get this done because I feel like that's what you know I want to do and that's what I feel like the Holy Spirit is giving me the strength to to do to do it do this so i'm excited i'm like like oh it's my birth month i'm just like i don't know like this spiritual high like i feel i was telling my husband i feel like here i can't even explain it I just feel like just just like like this water like bubbling up just this just fullness just feeling like a spiritual high and um of course my husband goes back to the bible with everything he was like that's the holy spirit you know and that's an awesome feeling and but anyhow i want to get off track with that um i get excited when i'm talking about god and the holy spirit and christ and um the closer you get to him you just can't help but get excited so if you lost your excitement um maybe you need to draw near and he'll draw near to you so that's what i'm learning and like I said, I, I'm i just excited in the Lord. So, um, thanks for um, watching and let me move on. Because, like I said, I don't want to make it too long. But, um, um, before I do this, uh, this little series of episodes, I pray to um, God. And I ask the Holy Spirit to guide me and lead me on you know, what I should say or do, how it come out. I even got to the people that's supposed to, to hear this, you know, they, to hear this message and to let it help them and bless them in some kind of um, way. And for this, um, this one, I feel led to do, this is like I said, part five. And look at my notes, make sure I wrote down right. Um, this one, I actually, I'm going to combine three dreams um, together, but it's about the same person. And I'm calling this one Kobe Bryant in my spirit. And the reason I'm calling it Kobe Bryant in my spirit, this is part five, um, is because I have had three dreams about um, Kobe. Uh, if you look, uh, what I say, that's been some months back. I did the, my very first like YouTube uh, video about Kobe Bryant and believe me like I said that was um a few months ago and I was like like pushed to 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 do to do that dream but it makes sense now you know looking at now because I feel like God's preparing me to do what I'm doing now to help someone but I'm a, I'm not gonna go I, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna go into detail but I'm gonna give you the first dream that I had but you can look at back at this other dream I think I called it Kobe Bryant dream, a dream about Kobe or something like that, dream about Kobe Bryant. Um, uh, but the, the, how I even got to even putting it on YouTube, um, after I had the dream, my my husband was like, uh, maybe you should put it on YouTube. And I was like, put it on YouTube? 
I'm not going to put any of my dreams on YouTube. Mm, no, I'm not going to do to um to do that. And so, you know how I prayed um, about it, and a, a bunch of like events happen, um, course of events happening. Um, but I'm gonna get to that. Let me read the um, scripture before I get all off in. Um, um, tell you about Kobe Bryant in my spirit, and I just named it that because each dream was different, but Kobe Bryant in my spirit. So I got written down here. Let's see, in Kobe Bryant dream, um, it, it definitely was a a, a dream. Um, with this one, I believe that it's um it's a definite dream. Um, it's it's, it's definite in that. The stuff whatever's going on with Kobe because I don't know him personally not even a fan of Kobe so that's why this is like this is Kobe's been a a, a, a an experience for me he's this this whole Kobe like I said God would teach you that's why God would teach you he would use his Holy Spirit and sometimes things is overnight sometimes it's you know of course a month you however long God takes to 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 train you in something i mean it's his business you just have to be obedient like i said like when i did the first kobe bryant video on youtube i'm like oh, i'm not going on youtube talk about any dreams but look at me now months later i'm telling you about a lot of a lot of my dreams so um anyhow with um this like i said i like to say anyhow so if that bothers you i'm sorry it's just me but um it was definitely the fact that um the um, dream was about Kobe and it was clear. Um, the dream I've been praying that it's conditional that um that Kobe um gets in contact with someone that that loves the Lord and knows the Lord has a relationship as the righteous because it said the prayer the Bible says the prayer of the righteous avail much and so it's a lot of people in church, a lot of preachers, pastors, ministers, evangelists whatever they call themselves, prophecy, whatever you want to call yourself or people call themselves, and their relationship is not worth two cents, as I can say, two cents with Christ. It just got a title and doing it for whatever reason they're doing it. So the keys for, um, um, I believe, in my spirit, in my heart, is for Kobe to find someone that's, um, that, that, that's righteous, that, that, that knows the Lord, that loves the Lord, and, um, and, I, I just I, I just believe and hope that um all this is conditional but um let me go into the dream let me turn to my page so I would know I'm looking down I'm sorry I'm looking down because like I said, I'm just doing this the best that I can oh okay so the scripture I have down is for this one is Ezekiel 3 17 through 18 Ezekiel 3. 17 through 18, and it's the um, KJV, and it's the King James Version. And it says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth, and give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require, require at thine hand. Again, Ezekiel 3, 17, 18. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. And give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou gives gives him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way, to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. This verse means so much to me as far as I mean it means much to me because you know it's the word of God but as far as Kobe Bryant um this Bible verse is the verse that got me to go onto YouTube to even to, 
to even tell the dream about Kobe Bryant. After my husband said it, I felt like um, after I prayed about it and um, I felt like I should um, do it. But like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm learning, constant learning. And um, I kind of drag my feet and I think of a thousand and one ways to not do something like, um, you know, just, you know, like, so, okay, no, that's the flesh. No, God, mm, oh, God gave it that to me. I don't want to be wrong. You know, I don't, you know. So, but that, um, um, this Bible verse, Ezekiel 3 and 17, 17, 18, um, it, it did it for me with Kobe. So let me tell you the, um, the, uh, dreams about Kobe. Um, the first one, like I said, you can let, um, look back at the other one I made some months back, but, um, it was on, um, I had this dream on August of, I want to say top of my head, like I'm trying to remember this in the wee hours in the morning. It was like August the 23rd or 24th, something like that. And I want to say it was on Wednesday. And I remember so much about this because the dream like terrified me. But I had a dream that um um that I was at this building. It was like this nice building. Some kind of event was going on. I don't know what kind of event. The phone ring. And it was like at this bar. And they look at me. And the person, the bartender where it was, told me to come on the telephone was for me. And I'm like, for me? You know, it was just odd in the dream. So I went to get the phone. I picked the phone. I answered the phone. And when I answered the phone, the guy said his name. I do not remember the name, but he said his name. It was no name that I knew, nobody I knew personally or recognized, but he told me his name. And then he hung up the phone. And I thought it was odd. So when he hung up the phone, I just, you know, I turned around and to walk back to wherever I was going to. But when I did, everybody's like walking fast out the building. It's like, just walking, walking. And while they're walking, I was like, okay, something's going on. But people are not running. So they're not running. That means it's not anybody shooting or fighting or, you know, something that, you know, that that's dangerous. Because people run. When you got a group of people together and something break out, everybody break out running. <laughs> but they were walking fast. But I knew it was something. And everybody's walking fast and they're crying. And I'm like, what's going on? Because like I, it's like I missed it. You know, when the phone call, it's like when the phone call uh, rung and it told me to come on there. It's like, okay, what happened? You know? And so somebody's walking by. I don't know if it was a man or woman. I said, what's going on? What happened? And the person says to me, Kobe Bryant just got killed. And I said, Kobe Bryant? Because in the dream, I'm shocked. Like, Kobe Bryant got all this money and fame. Like I said, I do know that. I do know that um, the, the, what I know about Kobe is that he played for the Lakers. And um, at that time, I thought he still was playing. You know, that tell you how much I watch him now. I know about Kobe, but I know he was a player for um, the Lakers and that, you know, a lot of money. And that's all I know about Kobe. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, Kobe, Kobe got killed, you know. And so, and I looked at I said, I said, doesn't he have two girls? And that's the question I asked. Because like I remember somebody saying Kobe has two little girls. And I will say this. My mother and my cousin are like fans of Kobe Bryant. And my cousin live way off in Colorado. And my mother. Um, so you don't really, uh, you know, I, I talked to her, you know. But she used to just always talk about Kobe. And it's almost like kind of hilarious. And um, my mother just a fan of Kobe. But me, mm -mm, I'm not, no, not that I don't like Kobe. Man. It's just that I'm not. A fan of Kobe, and so that's why the dream, this dream was like shocking. So when I said in a dream, um, doesn't he have two little girls? The person didn't respond, and so and immediately in the dream, in the dream I went into a vision. Now I had two dreams like this that I'm dreaming, but in the dream I have a vision. In the dream, I'm telling God has all kind of ways to do things, but I had um a vision. And while everybody's walking, running out, crying, and I asked, you know, does he have two girls? I went like, my uh, the vision took over what I was seeing. I didn't see the people running out anymore. All I could see, I could see Kobe Bryant walking out this building. And while he's walking out this, like walking out this building, three people run up in all like black. And I can't say if they're woman, man, or whatever. But they came up and they had guns in their hand. Now, I didn't see them shoot the gun. So um, I learned you know, with dreams and stuff, you can't ask, oh, where they shot him. Because I didn't see him shoot him. I saw three people with guns. And so um, run up 
And then that was it. I woke up from the dream. And sometimes when I wake up from certain dreams, I, all I can do is just sit up. And I sit up. And I sit up and like, like, oh, you know, you know, thank God this is not real. You know, this is because it's it felt so real. So with um that the dream, you know, just bought, you know, just just would not leave me, just stayed on me. And then, and I told my husband about the dream. I said, Why would I dream about Kobe? Why would God I said, I don't know Kobe. Now I understand most of all the other dreams that I have had, because either I know the person or I know somebody that knows the person. That I can, you know, I can call them or, you know, contact them somehow or I may run into them. But Kobe Bryant, I don't even watch, watch him on TV. So, like I said, at that time, I knew nothing about um, Kobe. So, um, what I have found out that he does not um, play. He retired or something. Uh, yeah, retired from basketball from the Lakers and um, some things that I um, found out. And like I said, this is, I just, you know... Um, this this whole COVID dream put this spiritual like burden. All I can tell is like a heavy burden on my soul, and I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't know how to. I didn't know what to do with this whole this Kobe this whole thing. And all I know it was a, a burden on my soul. It was heavy. If you never experienced it, I I that's all I can say. If you have experienced this, you know what I'm talking about. And I was like, Lord, what am I supposed to do with this? I'm telling my husband, I said, I cannot get Kobe off my mind. What am I supposed to do with this? So, like, three days later, Kobe went out. I'll wake up with Kobe, like, on my mind, my heart. Like, what am I supposed to do with this, Lord? I don't know Kobe. I can't just pick up the phone and call um, call Kobe, you know? And I and I just can't email him, you know? I was like, he was like, what? No person is this? I mean, Kobe probably get all kind of mail or whatever. I'm assuming, you know, emails or however you contact Kobe. So, I, um... I'm like, I want to do with this. So about three days later, I said, let me just type Kobe Bryant name in the computer. I mean, in the, you know, in uh, the, the, what is it, Google search engine. So I typed his name in the computer, um, in on the computer, or on my cell phone, one of them. I typed his name, and it uh, pops up that Kobe Bryant's birthday was on the day I dreamed it. Like I said, it was the 23rd, 24th of August, and that was the day his birthday. So instead of relieving me from this dream, it got stronger because i was like i don't know nothing about kobe and i can't even say that people say well you could saw it on a magazine or saw it on the the new the song that this i if i'm watching tv it's either something with cartoons disney or something like that with my um daughters or i'm on youtube and i'm watching sermons and i'm watching spiritual stuff and listening to some aw tozer i'm listening to some andrew murray if you hadn't listened in their stuff check them out i even um uh, check out you no know, just different people um and listen to their the sermon um so um that's what i'm that's that's what i'm that's what i'm doing so the likelihood for me to see somebody like kobe is slim to none and this the you know so i'm like okay so i'm like why would i dream this on his birthday so with that um I kept asking, like, just whenever I would run to somebody and the Holy Spirit tell me to mention a dream to somebody. Um, well, before I did, my husband said, he said, this dream, you need to tell people. And I was like, this ah, my husband don't say stuff like this. Like, for me to even get on YouTube, he does, that's not something he would say. But the times in my life that my husband told me to do something or, or suggested I should do something, it made sense later. Everything just fall in place like, um, um. Romans 8 and 28, all things work together for the good that those, uh, those that love the Lord and then call for his purpose. I hope I quoted that right. I think I did. But Romans 8 and 28, not look it up. Um, but it basically, the Bible verse saying everything works together for the good. You know, everything in our life works together. So I'm thinking this YouTube stuff here is going to work together for um, my good somehow. Um, so with this um, a Kobe, it's Kobe, Kobe dream, I'm like, okay. Okay, this I dreamed this on his birthday. Why? And my husband was like, "Well, you may should um, put it on YouTube." I drug my foot, and so I started, you know, when I he said, "But you need to," he said, "You need to tell people." So I would tell some people. I said, "This I, but I'm going to do it." So I started telling like people that I know, you know, know in whatever capacity, and nobody once said what I thought they would say. Like that's not going to happen to um Kobe. Oh no, no, that are you crazy? That I most people just looked at me and like. Especially the people that really know me and know, like, seen some of my dreams, um, um, the dreams that I tell them that that come that they come to pass. I shouldn't say some, but 
all the dreams that I tell them that 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 God has sent have have come to pass. So um, I ain't talking about none of those crazy foolish dreams, but I'm saying that the dreams I tell them that's clear and got this, this, and that. So, um, so um, my um, so my husband told me to tell people. So I start telling people, but nobody responded the way I wanted to respond, and I want them to say, "Oh, that's not gonna happen." Give me some kind of confirmation not to put this on YouTube. Long story short, you see, I put it on YouTube. Well. When I, as soon as I put this video on YouTube, I kid you not, um, the uh, the the burden it just left. It lifted. I mean, as soon as as soon as we stopped, you know, I we just it the burden left. But what really drove me <laughs> to to uh, to go ahead and start slowing around? Um, I went to a church that day, and I'm telling different people, you know about COVID that I mean, you know, when it come up and I went to, um, church that, um, day to go to my scripture and I started telling some of the, um, people at our church, um, about it and not one of them, you know, and I'm, people know I like to joke and cut up and laugh. So I figured that, you know, they would, you know, joke and, uh, laugh like, Oh no, Dr. Lee, that's not going to happen. Nobody said that. And so I was telling, um, one, um, one minister that, and um, she was talking to this um, other guy at the church, and I was um, telling her, I figured they won't tell, you know, I was, especially them, I was especially, they were like, no, that ain't, that's not going to happen, what you what you ate before you went to bed at night, but when I said to her, um, they just both looked at me strange, and one of them said, the guy said, well, I hope not, I hope that doesn't happen, maybe it's a spiritual death, I was like, that's what I was saying, maybe Kobe has spiritual death, maybe, you know, he's spiritual dead, and he need to find, you know, that's 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 what I that's what I say. So with um with uh with that the um the other the minister um looked at me and she said she said oh she's like uh what's that she was like what's that movie Final Destination she said she dreams it and then it happens she see she said like she see it before it happened and I'm like okay I had never no thought about that but I've seen years ago that movie Final Destination and I'm like ah oh. but that's what she said so I was like okay this is not working out good for me so with um with all that um another minister I told her that I wanted to tell my dream and I think she was going to joke and laugh at me because that's what we do we cut up and so she waited around I know for an hour or two for me to talk to her um um, at the church and she had to go to work and so I finally told her the dream and she told me and this is exactly what she told me and I thought she was going to laugh with me but she didn't she said Dr. Lee let me tell you this she said why are you why 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 are you so scared to, to, to put this on YouTube like you know like your husband said and my husband is also um is the uh, the pastor of the church so she said why are you scared I was like mm she said do you think that um she this basically how she said she's like do you do you think that you're nobody i was like uh-huh i'm a nobody and she said um you think kobe ryan's like a king or something? i was like yeah basically if he got a lot of money rich you know and i don't know about nothing about kobe i said i and i don't even even um even know why, why you know why i don't it don't even make sense to me i said i can't even get to kobe and she was like oh but you don't have to worry about getting to kobe she said, you put it on YouTube. And she said, and if God want him to see it, she said, God has a way of doing everything. She said, God would give Kobe a dream. And Kobe would wake up in the middle of the night. And he would type in whatever God tell him to type in. And he would come across your video. I said, well, I never thought about um, that. And she said, um, she's like, so you can't. She said, God will send who he want to kings and queens and to whoever, presidents or whatever he want to send them um, to to get his message to him. And she said, now it's up to him what he does with it. She said, but you just do your part. She said, I think you um you should go ahead and put it on YouTube. And I was like, okay. And by the time my husband walked by and he was like, um, my husband walked by and he no, he knew what he was talking about. And he just leaned over and he heard me say, well, I know nothing about Kobe. I don't understand this. I'm not a fan of Kobe. It would be different if something about it, you know, it just be different. It was something about Kobe that, you know, it just be different. I don't know nothing about Kobe besides the fact that he played with the Lakers and he played basketball. I said, I didn't even know he would have retired. And so my husband walked by and I said, um, and I said, I dreamed this. And I, 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 I had his dream on his birthday. And I said, I don't know about nothing about Kobe. I don't know when his birthday is. 
And my husband walked by and he said, no, you don't know. He said, but God knows everything. He know Kobe Bryant's birthday and he know his death date. And he said he know all our birth dates and all our death date. And I was like, you know, I never thought about that. So I got quiet. And so then took the push this over oh, before before I said to push this over the edge. My um my son was preaching um that that particular day and was sitting in church. Just I'm, I'm coming back. I was sitting in church and my mind drifted off to Kobe. I told you Kobe just would not leave me. Just Kobe just took all my time, my space. I mean, every moment, second, or whatever. So I'm sitting in church, and my mind drifted off to the dream I had about Kobe. And out of the blue, my son, he says, he was preaching, and I don't know even what he was saying, but saying before that, but all I remember him saying is, yes, and my favorite all-time player, and, he's, and, I, and when he said that, it's like I came out of, you know, my little days, and I stopped, and he said, my favorite all-time player is Kobe Bryant. He has killer instincts. And when he said that, my husband looked at me and said, killer instinct. And I just like went down in the pew like this, like, oh my goodness. So, um, and that's when I went, you know, later and it was talking to this minister going back. So all this stuff was just, you know, like just happened. I got so many other stories, but like I said, this could get long and I don't want to get too long, too long, but I want to get my point, um, point across because it, like I said, it's designed to help someone. So going back to the minister and we're talking back in the kitchen and, um, she says this to me. She said, I tell you this. She said, you remember Jonah? I was like, yeah, I remember Jonah, Jonah and, and, and the whale and Jonah and the big fish, you know? And she was like, yeah. She said, what did Jonah do? She said, Jonah ran. She said, Sonny, you were running. I said, running? She said, yeah. she said, Sonny, me that God gave you a message. And she said, and you're running from the message. And she said, and she started going over the story again about Jonah. And I looked at her and I said, you know what? I said, I did not come to you to get beat with the Bible. And we just, you know, I just like, like looked at her and I started to laugh. And I was like, I see you beat me with the Bible. And I'm just like, I mean, and the more she talked, it's like the heavier this burden got on my soul. And I said, but I don't know Kobe. She said, you don't have to know Kobe. God knows, knows Kobe. I was like, yeah, I know that. I said, but I'm not even a fan. I don't know why God was. I said, this one's different. This is different than anyone I this is different for anyone that um the dreams I have had. It's because I don't I have no way to get in contact with him. Don't know him. So she said, I tell you this. She said, she said, if you don't go on YouTube and get it off of you, she said, what God does with that's on him. She said, well, at least get it off of you. She said, because if you do not, she said, and something happened to Kobe. She said, his blood will be on your hand. She said, the Bible says it. I said, huh? She said, his blood will be on your hand. If something happened and God has given you a message, she said, don't you worry about Kobe getting the message because God would get Kobe the message how he want to get it. It's up to Kobe. If God tell him to do something and he don't choose to do it, that's up to Kobe. She said, but God would get him the message. So with that, that's what Ezekiel 3 and 17, 18, I just read. At the end of it said, but his blood I will require at thy hand. And um, I want to say some of the translations say, but his blood will be on, no, their blood will be in your, um, your hand. So when she said that, I was, oh, no. I said, let me get this off. Let me get this off of me right now. I said, mm-mm. Kobe Bryant blood, nobody blood is going to be on my hand. I said, this, this, I, no. I'm getting this out. And we went right into um. The little office and we filmed that other video so um so that's um that was that that dream and the next dream let's see i had was um about kobe uh let's see i got it written down here had an um this dream about kobe i just want to make sure i stay in my little order here so i won't tell them out of order the next I'm looking for where I wrote it at. Right. I got it. Okay, here it goes. Right in front of me. Um, so that was the first dream. Basically, Kobe, um, somebody, um, somebody murdering Kobe, killing him. Killing him. Um, that's what I mean. They basically said that Kobe you know, was killed, whatever. So, um, the last time I had a dream, and this dream was um short, um, maybe some weeks, a month later, not thinking um 
you know, about um, Kobe. But I started praying for Kobe um, every day. I said, Lord, I don't know what, you know, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this, but what I will do, what I can do, I pray for Kobe and pray for Kobe's souls. I said, so, pray for his soul. So, whatever ultimate, Lord, that you do with Kobe in life, I will be a prayer warrior for Kobe and pray um, for him. Even though he does not know me, I don't know him. But I know one thing, that my my job, my goal, my assignment, in all Christian assignment, is to um, to win souls, save souls. So, I intercede um, for Kobe. I pray for him every night to this day. And if I don't pray, um, forget to pray for him, I tell you, before I can go to bed at night, that day or somewhere I will see a restaurant and then Kobe. I one day I was in Walmart just walking and prayed for Kobe that day. And just like Kobe looked, I think it was like a baseball card, basketball card, we're just hanging out, like misplaced. But it's always something every day if I like get preoccupied and like like I'm gonna forget something remind me to pray for Kobe and I'll pray for him right then. So um the next um dream I had was um Kobe Bryant. He he looked it kind of bad. It's like we was at this kind of park. And he was sitting on this bench. And this little girl, I assumed in the dream that that was his daughter. And um, she just kind of was jumping. She was just dancing and playing in front of him. And he was just there like, you know when you got a lot on your mind. And you just like stressed. And it's like, and that's how he just had this look. And he didn't say anything. And I'm like. I'm at this part, and I see him not far from him, and his hair, his hair, look, you know, just looked a mess. And nothing, it didn't, it wasn't a hairstyle that Kobe that I ever seen Kobe wears. I can't say what Kobe wears because I don't know because I don't follow Kobe that. But his hair is like just looked it look look pretty, just rough. His hair, like if I remember, it's like long, like it was shreds. It was just he looked like great. It was just just like almost like sometimes when you see people that that. That's, that's been out like a rough time. Like you may see them on the streets and their hair look matted and knotty or, you know, just like, it was like long, like, like dreads or plaits or something. And, and that was, um, all to that dream. And so I woke up, I said, okay, here we go. I'm having another dream about Kobe. So, you know, I definitely went like sitting to praying for Kobe and, um, um, uh, praying for Kobe, and you know, like, and I was been praying for God, save him, save him, Lord, save him, let him see this um video and save him, save him, Father, you know, give, you know, I don't know what kind of person he is, don't know anything about him, but Father, save his um soul, I save his soul and let him live. And what I've come to find out is that Kobe has, I want to say, three girls, um, three um three girls, and I was like, you know, let him. That you know, let him raise his children. That um, let him be a father, and whatever it is that you're trying to get out of him or from him, let you know, uh, father, you know, that will be my 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 side, my my prayer. But I said, God is God, and um, I don't know how God is, what is he's doing with this and working this out. So that was um, Kobe dream number two, and the third um dream I had of Kobe, um. Ryan, um, Kobe, um, was at this, um, like at this, I guess a stadium, you'll call it a stadium. And I can see Kobe, he walked past me and when he walked past me. He walked like, like down these bleachers. Like he had his book bag. Like, you know, like you see basketball players, like I know you do it in high school and, um, I think college, they had like book bags on their back. And I don't know if they do it in the pros or whatever, but cause I don't watch pro basketball, <laughs> but the, um, and I don't go to, I mean, I don't, I'm not even a sports person. I don't even go to high school and college games, um, now, but I have seen some, you know, in my lifetime. And so he had the, um, this book bag and he had the little bitty, I don't know, like little twists or dress or plastic. So I have to, I never seen Kobe wear, but I can't say he's never worn it or, or never will. But, oh, excuse me. But what I did, um, what I noticed when he was walking, he walked down the bleachers. But what was odd to me, nobody like recognize nobody you know it's like nobody the reason i said nobody recognized him because nobody said anything and i would think of somebody like kobe if, if you in some bleachers is probably some kind of sporting event that people would would know kobe even though he's retired they still want his autograph or something or i mean that's just me assuming i'm assuming i, I don't think it was 
the bleach will be a, a bunch of people like me that that you know that if I saw Kobe, I probably wouldn't go ask for his order, you know. Okay, maybe maybe I would. Maybe you know, I would say get it for my my mother and my cousins since they love him. But you know, it wouldn't be like oh, you know, it's Kobe because that's just just not my. This is not me, my my person. You know, yeah, everybody's a, a soul the way I see it. So the um, but nobody responded in the dream. He just walked by, and I don't know if they didn't know who he was or what. But I knew who he was, and I said, you know, and I looked down for that. I can see Kobe. He walked down the bleachers. So I woke up from the dream. I was like, okay, that's I want Lord. I was like, Kobe, why? You know. And so what I did, I got my phone right then when I woke up. I typed in Kobe Bryant. Um, bleach or going down bleachers or something like that. Kobe Bryant, something with bleachers in it. And when I typed it in, popped up on my phone was an article from a website I never heard of called thebleacherreport.com. Yeah, thebleacherreport.com. They had just posted, I can't remember if it was 15 minutes or an hour. They had just posted, it was a short time. I mean, it was like, I mean, within. Say an hour, maybe two. I give and take. I don't know. Fifteen minutes. They had just posted. Um, um, they had just posted. I guess some kind of article or something. I'm not sure if it was some some. It was, but it's probably still online. With um, Shaquille O'Neal, I didn't like Kobe something. Or they had some kind of feud or didn't get along or something. And and. They said that he um, thought about paying somebody to kill Kobe, whatever, to, to murder Kobe, kill Kobe, you know. And when I read that, I'm like, oh, my goodness, here we go again. Killing, murder, you know. And it comes from the bleacher report. The dream I had was Kobe walking down the bleachers. So I said, okay, Lord, whatever it is up with um, Kobe, this is the third dream I've had for um, him. I'm going to do my part. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for this guy, this man that I do not know, that has never seen me in person. Um, I, you know, I never seen him in person. I'm going to pray. And I've been praying for Kobe every night, sometimes um, um, every day, I should say. And um, I pray, and I, like I said, I was praying that God save his soul, to keep him, you know, that he find uh, that righteous person that know that that know God and that can lead him in his uh, walk, and that he can live his life and raise his um, daughters, and you know whatever God is trying to get um, out of um, Kobe. So, um, since then I hadn't had um, that's been about. I think that last stream may have been. Uh, don't quote me here. That's been about maybe three months ago, three or yeah, maybe three months ago. Um, and but I hadn't had any um more um dreams about um Kobe. So I have just been praying, and it's been. I mean, I'm I'm at peace with it. I'm at peace with it now. I don't have that burdensome feeling. And I have gone from praying, like, you know, I mean, I still say, God, just if you can save his soul, save him, save him so he can be a, a father. He, you know, just, he's a soul. But I said, Father, you know, if you have other plans, you know, let your will be done. Because ultimately, you know what you're doing with, um, what you're doing with this. So I've been praying for COVID. And it's been like, that's why I said COVID right in my spirit. This has been ever since, what, August, um, this was August, during this August 2017, 17, I believe, on the 23rd, 24th, and now it's June 2018. And so, um, whatever the Lord is doing, I feel that I'm, I'm, I'm doing my part for praying for, for this young man that I don't know. But like I said, God, he does stuff how he wants to do it. And, he used who he want he want to use, and so with this one, if anything, um, you know, I shouldn't say if, but if I have any more updates or whatever, or any more dreams and think about Kobe, I will be sure to post it and make sure I put like some type of update and um and I'm um praying for Kobe. I'm gonna continue to pray for Kobe, and I even started a little prayer um group um that I only was supposed to meet three times and um. Um, the Lord told me to get some people you know that that I know that have know the Holy Spirit and 
and the day I jumped up and did it, it all fell in place and we all got together and those um ladies they came to and they we prayed and we'd pray and we prayed about a lot of things and um dreams and visions that I had and we um and we prayed for um prayed for Kobe and um I know I know, um two or three other people I know too said that they're gonna be praying for Kobe with me. And if they're still praying for him now and I, I don't know but um if you see this video say a prayer for um for Kobe. Send up a prayer. Nothing it's nothing like praying. God um he answered prayers and he hears hears prayers. So um let's pray for Kobe to um to see this and to whatever, you know, God's trying to get and I know um seek his face. I know that's one thing, seek him and get a relationship with him and um, like I said, when I have a dream and I can get the message to the person, there's so many times that I know God would be there and the person, whatever lesson that he wants them to learn or um, to, to get out of it, that God can, um, God has a way to do it. So for this, um, I'm still praying for COVID. I'm going to keep praying. If it take five years, 10 years or whatever, whatever God um, is doing, I'm going to pray to God, release me from that until the Holy Spirit released me from Kobe Ryan. But he hasn't released me yet. So this is totally different. So whatever updates I get on this or I'll be sure to um um to update because and I'll update what I learn what um you know I mean I update you know whatever you know the Holy Spirit guide me. So let me not just say I update but it's cause some things you can't always say, you know, to the public but I'm going to do what I can to say whatever so whoever so no matter how rich or how poor how ugly how pretty how how black or how white or how green or purple if God put you in my path or my midst and I can be of help for your soul or your spirit that's all I'm that's 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 all I'll do that's like I said this this birthday of mine this birthday month is so different than any because I feel like I'm where God want me to be spiritually and the fact of even coming to put my dreams my vision my own personal stuff um people that I know personal you know circumstances with these dreams and everything to go out here on public and to you know to take whatever you know because people can get and say all kind of bad crazy so which I don't you know care about um that but but I'm just happy that um, I am where I am today and that spiritually I have grown just over the course of um, months to be so afraid of um, getting on YouTube and telling this dream about Kobe. And now I'm on YouTube months later. And let's see, if we go August, I think I posted in August, um, September, October, November. August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. That's almost 10 months. And 10 months later, not even a year. God um, got me here doing this. So, anyhow, um, hope you enjoyed it. And this got um, very lengthy. And um, I apologize for that. But hope you learned something. And well, no, I don't apologize. I don't apologize. Because Kobe may see this video. And he sees this video, this will be, this one video, if he's the only person that see it, it'll be a life changer for him. So, no, I don't apologize. If you thought it was too long, you could have just stopped it or paused it or whatever. So, um, no, I, I take that back and I apologize to the Holy Spirit for even saying saying that because I got a job to do and um, COVID life is in, in, important, even important to me. And I'm a stranger, but God put Kobe in my spirit so that's why, I, that's why I said Kobe Bryant in my spirit and there's so much other like little stuff I can tell you um they even drove me to the point of doing this but all I can say is God is good and um thank you for watching and as always before I end I want you um to seek the face of God if nothing else you get from these video draw near Read his word. If you hadn't read the Bible, start at Genesis and read it from to Revelation. Um, I had a young lady um to tell me she started from Revelation and went you were head towards Genesis. Have a God put on you to do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. And it is a life changer, a game changer. And so seek God's face, talk to the Holy Spirit, grow, get to know Christ. And with that. Thank you for watching, and again, I'm Dr. Lee, and I'm
I'm just spinning me and I'm not trying to be deep or even say I'm all deep. All I can say is that I'm here to to do God's will and be a vessel. And when I die and when I leave here, that my work will be completed and that I don't miss anything else at my age. And I do what God wants me to do. And that's my, that's, that's, that, that's what I plan on doing. So thank you. And, um, thanks for watching. And as always, let go, let God, and keep it moving. Thank you for watching.